Guys, listen, it's been a minute since I've done a YouTube video, but I have been so busy recently. I have, you know what? I've been coaching my kids' Little League baseball team, Go Braves. Uh, we finished the season strong, but we lost in the championship game. But you know what? Like, I don't, wouldn't change that time that I had to spend away from talking to you that I had talking with my kids and playing baseball and coaching baseball and spending all that quality time with them is something that dad doesn't normally get to do a lot because I'm always working. But it's been a minute since I've done a video here on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to just really kind of like jump in here and do a very quick video on my initial impressions of a camera that I have also have bought since the last time I did a video. And this is the contact, Contax TBS. I am a huge fan of Contax cameras. I've had the T2, the G1, the G2. I've done reviews on all of those cameras. I also have uh, my primary shooter. Oh, I just threw a roll, pack of film in the trash. The uh, Contax 645. This is something that I shoot professionally for weddings and stuff like that. But I was really intrigued by the Contax TBS after selling my Contax T2. One, the Contax T2 is expensive. As we all know, it's about $1,000 um, used on the market, and they are kind of finicky cameras, but they produce a fantastic result. Now the Contax TVS, this is the TVS2, there's a couple different versions of this. There's even a digital version as well that doesn't really take great photos, so I would not recommend that camera at all. But the TVS2 is pretty much the Contax T2 with a special trick up its sleeve. It is actually a zoom lens and it goes from 3.5, I believe, to 5.6 at its longest um, point. I don't typically shoot this zoomed in uh, just because there has been uh, on a bunch of forums a lot of people saying that there is a cord that is connected to this that often breaks. So I generally just shoot this at uh, 28 millimeters, which is the widest it goes. It goes from 28, I believe, to 56, which is a nice like kind of like little zoom option here. If that's kind of your jam, I prefer wide lenses. I actually prefer the 40 millimeter, but that's for a different topic. So it has all of the same features as the Contax T2. It does have a, I'm not sure if you can see that here. It does have um, an aperture priority mode. That's that program mode that you see right there. Uh, as you can see, you can also change the aperture. It starts off at 3.5 and it does go all the way up to, what is that, F16, which makes this just a fantastic little camera to shoot. Now I've only photographed one roll through this so far. That's not true. Three, I've got the one in here. This is my third one. I have another one that I shot earlier today, but I've already had one roll developed because I always like to, whenever I buy a new camera, I like to just shoot one roll, make sure that everything is working correctly before I like invest in shooting multiple rolls in it, which is exactly what you should do as well. But the thing is pretty neat. So. You know, obviously it has an exposure compensation. I'm shooting portrait 160 in here at uh, one stop overexposed because I like to make sure that I get awesome results and Portra, Portra does amazing overexposed. Uh, so this camera I actually got off of Amazon and it is in amazing shape. It came with a lens hood and a contacts filter, which is just unheard of to find something in this great shape. There wasn't even a scratch or a dent on it at all. Uh, so really the thing is this, you have the, your exposure compensation. You can also manual focus this camera, but I don't know why you would. But you could if you chose to, if for some reason the autofocus went out on it, which uh, I haven't heard that happening, but you could manual focus it if you want to. And it also has a, you know, it shows you how many, you can probably see here, let me see if I can, you can see, oh, maybe not, uh, there we go. You can see how many exposures you've taken as well. Now, so this here is your manual focus button. 
and you know it's a great little camera from what I've seen so far I also shoot this with the flash off I don't want the flash to automatically go off because the contacts point-and-shoot cameras at least the t2 was notorious for having fire burn into the thing and I generally shoot this in good light anyway because it produces the best results but yeah so so far I love this camera it's great it's uh, so this here is uh, you know an Olympus half frame camera and this is the Contax TVS and they're about comparable I mean the TVS is a little bit longer than the Pin D, this Olympus Pin D that I also carry around and just shoot a lot of hat. This is gonna be another review on another day, but I shoot this camera a lot as well. And they're about the same size. You could potentially fit this in your pocket if you wanted to, but because <laughs> it's an expensive point and shoot, I would not recommend putting this in your pocket. I would get like a small, like um, Peak Design five liter bag something that you can kind of uh, carry this around and without having to worry about it like bumping up against your keys or scratching you know with your phone in your pocket or something like that but overall so far my impressions of this is hey if you're thinking about getting a contacts and this is cheap ish it's about 300 to 400 dollars um, on eBay um, I paid for this one I paid about 475 dollars for it which is half the price of a Contax T2 for about 90% of the performance. Now it only goes, the Contax T2 it goes up to f2.8. This goes to only 3.5 is the widest aperture that you can possibly go. But it still has a program mode. I shot the Contax on program mode as well. The highest shutter speed that this will go up to is 500th of a second. But I'm going to do a full review on this. Uh, later, but I just kind of want to pop in and show you some images that I shot with this over the last uh, You know week or so and Yeah, that's really it for this video guys I just want to kind of pop in real quick and share my first initial impressions on the contact CVS 2 and I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Oh, and if you like this video, please make sure you hit subscribe to this channel and I will be dropping some content uh, you know, somewhat on a regular basis as I'm getting ready to ramp into wedding season. But thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the images. If you're thinking about getting the Contax TVS, so far, so good. I would definitely recommend it. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care. Peace.